And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Lulu Fiora. But first, before we get to it, by popular demand and talking over with Twitch chat, we decided we're going to do our second champion spotlight tomorrow. Normally, this is going to be a segment that we do on Wednesday nights and have champion spotlight night. Uh, but my schedule kind of got messed up this week. So what we're going to do is we're going to do it tomorrow on Friday um, here on Twitch. So it'll be up on YouTube for the next day for y'all on Saturday. So that means that we're gonna be building, uh, this time we're gonna build four decks, because we have four decks on Friday. So four decks with all different regions, competitive decks built around a single champion. So what champion is that gonna be? I don't know, we're gonna figure that out. So uh, what we're gonna do to determine that is there are 61 total champions in Legends of Runeterra. So we have the random number generator, one through 61, and we're just gonna it says click here, we click there, 39. All right, whoever champion number 39 is. And so we just count the numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and so on. But we can just do this a little faster. So um, going down the right-hand column, so that's gonna be four, eight, oh, I should probably just go like this. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight times four is 32. Nine times four is 36. We need 39, so 36, 37, 38, and 39. Number 39 is Garen. So Garen is going to be our champion for the champion spotlight tomorrow. So now we can kind of think about building different Garen decks. So we're going to have four different uh, Garen decks. Each one, with, so the rules of the champion spotlight is we want them to be competitive and ranked, and we want to make decks that have different regions also. So we'll have... Uh, four different region combinations with Garen decks for tomorrow. That's going to be awesome. All right, but but for today, we're going to be starting with Lulu Fiora. And I wanted to play Lulu Fiora today, um, basically because these are two champions that I just haven't played in a really long time. And they're two champions that I enjoy playing, um, and we just haven't in a while. And so we're going to put them together in a deck. Um, this is I have played this Lulu Fiora deck, but it's been like two months <laughs> since I played it, and I haven't played this since. Fiora got nerfed. I wanted to see how Fiora would do against these Sand Soldiers and um, Blade Dances and stuff like that that everybody's playing these days. Um, and so I wanted to you know, see how this is. Uh, even though it only has two health, all it has to do is just block one health units uh, to be able to survive that. And Fiora pairs pretty well with Lulu because you know now that Fiora is a 3-2, that, that two health is not very much. Well, what if you support uh, Fiora and make it a 4-4 instead. And that's what Lulu can do. Lulu can support Fiora and make it a 4-4 for challenging. Plus that 4-4 can heal Fiora. Like what, it, you know, maybe Fiora's down at one health, you um, support to be a 4-4 and challenge like a 1-1, but you know, like then you can heal the, the health back for Fiora. So that could be another way to like heal your Fiora. Um, instead of like just Shen that just gives it a barrier for a little bit, but doesn't actually heal it. All right, so we're gonna put those two together. Uh, we have a new combat trick with syncopation to try out with this that you know like maybe they use a removal on the Fiora and we can save it or we put a Fiora or they like they challenge Fiora and we put it somewhere else or the same with like syncopation could be pretty sweet with Lulu like Lulu supports something else makes something else big but then they just have like their good blocker block your Lulu and you just syncopation and and switch those two so that could be pretty cool so we're gonna just have one of them um, one rush I, I've always liked rush with Lulu um, and rush with Fiora also very good. So we're gonna have one rush in there, uh, and then a ranger's resolve as well because of the um, of all these like little attackers we're gonna want to have tough. That's a nice little keyword to have. Gonna try a golden ages barrier and rally, uh, and that's kind of about it. But then besides that, it's just you know other support cards like young witch, which is great with Fiora, um, war chefs underrated, good card that plus one plus one is very nice. Uh, yeah, and we're just going to go ahead and uh, do some supporting and some challenging and stuff like that. All right, so let's go and play some Lulu Fiora. We'll go play five games in ranked. So yeah, so what do y'all want to do with, with Garen? So people are saying Garen Freljord, Garen Vladimir, Garen Katarina. What do we got? We got really a zero first match. Okay. Let's get rid of the Golden Ages, and I'll keep the rest. Ready, willing, and 
Protege is pretty nice here. It's it's got a lot of health for blocking, uh, but also has that challenger that can it can take down some of these things that are quite annoying. I could. <clears throat> this is kind of difficult, like whether or not to play the war chefs. All right, I'm gonna take this trade. I'm honestly a little surprised they they were willing to make that trade. Oh dang. That Preservarium drew the shape stone. I wonder if that means that they have another shape stone in hand. Save your worlds. We speak with blades. Spin it round, throw it down. Is huh. supposed to be a challenge? They're willing to play that into the Fiora? Interesting. This is, of course, a deck that plays Homecoming, so they do have a way to reset Fiora. Yeah, Scar Grounds would be a good deck against Aurelia Azir, I think. You know, getting that tough, I think I think that could be really useful. The Preservarium is going to give them a you know good amount of card draw. Like they've they have the extra cards uh, because of Preservarium, but <clears throat> they're in a little bit of trouble. It's not easy for them to play anything that Blade dances. Yeah, Fiora's just gonna gonna take over. Awesome. Lulu Fiora, man, it's been too long. Lulu Fiora, it's been too long. All right, another Azir deck, Azir Darius. This one's a tough one. They can go real big. Um, okay, well we'll just take one, two, three. I couldn't go and mulligan deny. They do have some really nice deny targets, especially a card like Bloody Business. I think would probably be a popular one for this strategy. We're just playing two single combats. We're not a very good single combat deck. I'm going to hold the two mana for Sharp Sight. See what's up. What was that spell that they almost played? I wonder what that could have been. It's like a basically trade war chefs for the entire house, or I guess, you know, I could trade war chefs for like the 2 1 and the 1 1. Which we probably need to do, because if I just pass, they like attack. That's a lot of damage. And we get one support for Lulu. Basically just traded with House Spider. Always two steps ahead. The desert by my side. Always forward. I have no time for fools. So I either go to ten with this block or I can go to eleven and block over here, but then they get to keep the one one. 
them keeping the 1-1 one, one is not necessarily the worst thing for me for you know being a Fiora deck, them having access to that 1-1. One, one. So I think I'll just let them keep access to that 1-1. One, one. I definitely wish I had the mana to have like Sharp Side available also to go along with Lulu. What was that spell? I think Ruinous Path? Yeah, I guess I could see it reviewing Ruinous Path. So let's see. So they, they have not played... Okay, so like the plus three, plus one, they haven't played... Um, I don't know. I don't know if, I, if I'm setting up my Fiora to die or not. Okay, cool. I'm kind of surprised they didn't block Lulu at all. We love it when they run. Do we? I have my orders. I'll do better this time. In position. Behind you. Let's put something down to five. Get him, Which this this should just be blocking the saboteur. I'll do. All right, good job, Fiora. They should have challenged like that's they were greedy challenging the Fiora with just the three two instead of the Merciless Hunter the four three right. They challenge with the Merciless Hunter. My Fiora is going down to one health. I don't get to fight there. I probably have to make you know I'd, I'd make a block to keep the Lulu alive and the Lulu be able to reheal and I think we could probably we probably still win it but we have to at least win it the next turn. Thanks, uh, Pain and World. All right, we have Aurelia Azir. Let's give it the good work. Thank you very much. So the Aegis is going to go... I mean, these are... These are all pretty good. Screeching Dragon, of course, is expensive, but it's a great card. But I guess I'll mulligan it. But it's a great card. I, I can certainly see myself... Um, sad that I mulligan that later. All right, we have all three of our threes. This Dune Keeper is a pretty good one drop. This Green Glade Duo is a pretty good two drop. <laughs> it's like their deck's good or something. Gonna find a gift for an oh, action, right, Arda? Really? Merciless Hunter or something else. Azir's command. I hope they did it correctly. Oh, no 
and we are already down to eight. <laughs> Two down. Have we played War Chefs? War Chefs, then Fiora, then Lulu. And we're at eight <laughs> on turn four still after playing those three. Just like we practiced. Need one more mana. Well, I'll do. Now I can hold up deny for if they have the bounce spell. They can have two bounce spells. I liked. I just liked that window for the single combat. Um, hey, Krabby. That's my resting face. <gasps> Carrots can fly, Rib. Okay, okay. Ow. What is this? Sandstone Chimera? They'll never see us coming. Do you like magic? You'll move. Alright, that'll do. Fiora's looking good. Fiora's picking up these wins for us. Ooh, Draven Ezreal. All right, Draven Ezreal is going to be the toughest matchup that we face so far because they are based a lot more on removal spells than what we have been seeing. And keep denying for their Tribeam and probably later because we have we have very you know we have small health units for the most part, and so Draven Ezreal is much more difficult. Plus, their things are larger and more difficult to challenge, also. So just not good for us anyway. Anyway, you slice it. Good hand for them, too. No shame in losing this matchup when they, you know, they have a hand like this. Yeah, I just I just didn't really fit in chain vest. I, I decided to play syncop syncopation instead of the chain vest. Um, but yes, I do think that the chain vest with Fiora is pretty nice. Um, yeah, but as as we've seen like with those games, it's not completely necessary. We've seen how we've been just fine against Aurelia Azir without it.
I can't deny V3 mana again. Don't make me flamidify you. Firing. That's number four for Ezreal. Whoa, Captain Farron gone. I got rid of a rummage in Captain Farron. I'm Rue too. We're gonna have you support you and you support you. And you're gonna challenge you. That means they can block. Hey, I'm Rue too. Thank you so much for that resub. I appreciate it. That does mean they get to block my champion. But yeah, I think that's what we're gonna go ahead and do. All right, first of the day. Everything's easier behind a mask. So now they have. They already discarded a Captain Fair, and they have two cards that they got off the rummage. With those two over there. Okay, so Nezreal was a card they got off of rummage. And it is four out of six right now. Oh, so this went up plus one because this was an this was the Ezreal created card. Because whenever they played the Ezreal. Mystic shot earlier, they put an Ezreal back into the deck, and this was the Ezreal they put back miss. into the deck. You like frogs, huh? You'll move. That'll do. Let's go. That was surprising that we, we won that match. That syncopation was pretty nice of like just canceling out that ravenous flock with that switch. That was good. Okay. We 4 0, Lulu Fiora. Jinx Draven. Okay, so all out aggro. Can we stay alive? We'll keep the two one drops. Okay, I like the the Rangers resolve against this aggro matchup. I like that, but we're gonna want our champions. Yeah, we're gonna need our champions. That's one thing that we like during these four games, we've done a very good job of drawing our champions. So I know like Fleet Feather Tracker is what you usually lead with, but I don't really want to play Fleet Feather Tracker because you, if I play Fleet Feather Tracker, I can't attack with Fleet Feather Tracker. Even if they play nothing and pass, you can't attack because of Jury Rig, right? And like they could just, they would just play like Jury Rig and, and block. Um, so the one two is like something that I could more safely attack with. I don't know. It's not like the worst trade, but because whenever they play. Like, you know, Vision and Battlecaster and all that kind of stuff that rewards them for going wide. What's up, Dresbo? Yeah, we're 4 0. Dresbo, I was going to play your deck later on. Ionia Victor is what I'm going to call it. It's Dresbo Control. Yeah, that's going to be awesome. Unfortunately, have to challenge that Draven like that. I would have rather buffed up the Flower Child to give it that plus two, plus zero. Suck. All right, let's get a champion or a dragon. That's neither. Neither champion nor dragon. Out, 
time. Dang. So that's us taking 10, going down to 8. Our hands are just pretty expensive. We have not drawn very well. Just all of our expensive spells. We need our champions. Man. <laughs> yeah, this is not good. This is not good. Eat up, friend. So this game's still over. I needed you a while ago, Lulu. Like three turns ago. Because, yeah, I can block three of them, but the other three give me. We bricked, and they did not. So that's gonna happen sometimes, right? Like sometimes you just play against discard burn that they have a good hand and, you, and your mulligan just draws a, all of your expensive spells, right? Just draws all <laughs> all your expensive spells and then just none of your like impactful units that you need, you know, no fee or a protege Lulu. Like we had like those three drops in like every single game, but like that game just couldn't find any of them or even like a dragon or just, you know, much of anything. And so that'll happen sometimes, um, you know, Oh well, so we'll, that's that's a loss. But I have to say that I was really impressed with the deck because we went four and zero oh in the other games. We beat Aurelia Azir twice. We even beat Ezreal Draven um, in a good, clean game. Um, so yeah, I was really impressed with how this deck did against some of those uh, real you know top decks of the meta game. Like those are some of the most you know, two of the most popular decks there with Ezreal Draven and um, Aurelia Azir. And so really impressed with how we did, especially against Aurelia Azir. And so that was fun. That was fun to play Lulu and uh, Fiora again. Fiora looked good. You know, Fiora was winning those first three games for us. And the Lulu pairing with Fiora looked great with having Lulu heal the Fiora um, instead of just, you know, like Shen, obviously Shen plus Fiora is very good, but Shen just gives the Fiora a barrier. So if Fiora is a 3-2 and it blocks a 1-1 Sand Soldier, now it's a 3-1. Sure, you can support with Shen and it gets a barrier, but it's still just going to be, you know, like the 3-1, I guess, unless it levels up, then it's the 4-2, but the Lulu healing it was really nice. And then, of course, the Lulu just costs less. You know, the Lulu costs three instead of four. Uh, that that always helps because you get that extra spell mana that can help with different things. Um, but yeah, so that was, our, that was our deck. And I liked it. I think it looked pretty good. All right, so that was fun to play. Lulu Fiora. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Leave those comments. Let me know what you think of this deck. If you got other ideas for Lulu or Fiora decks, uh right now you know feel free to let me know um also uh we've got garen so we're gonna have champion spotlight night day edition tomorrow with uh garen so we're gonna build four different decks around garen uh, with each one with different regions so if you have different suggestions on what you uh, think that you want to see for like what would be a good competitive garen deck um, feel free to put it in the uh, comment section there on YouTube. All right, but that's going to be it here for Lulu Fiora. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.